Hello, Mark Satterfield here. Thanks so much for joining me. Let's talk today about writing a book and whether it is worth your uh, while to do so, whether it is going to actually get you any business, and if you decide to write a book, uh, what might be uh, you know, the various paths you might consider in terms of getting it publishing. Okay, so um, writing a book. I think if you're a consultant, uh, an advisor, a coach, an expert, writing a book is probably one of the best ways of establishing credibility. It's an incredible marketing tool for you. Uh, let me give you an example. Uh, a lot of you uh, came to my subscriber base because of this. This is a book called Unique Sales Stories. How to use stories to uh, build your brand, uh, differentiate yourself from, from the competition, that type of thing. Um, yeah really good book, went to number one on Amazon for a while. People have written me and said it's just been enormously helpful. And a lot of you came here because on my uh, landing page at Gentle Rain Marketing, we make a free offer for, for this book. So it's, it's a great uh, lead magnet, as we, we call it in the, uh, in the marketing biz. If for some reason you didn't get a free copy, well, go to Gentle Rain Marketing. There's a you know, drop-down uh, thingy that will, will appear, and you can, you can get a copy. Really good book. It's a great way to uh, get people into uh, your subscriber base, uh, and it's, it's a wonderful lead magnet. So books are great for that. Now, you don't have to use a book for a lead magnet. You can use a free report, a white paper, a video, any of a number of things. But books are great in terms of building credibility. But, you know, not all books are the same. You can self-publish a book, not a big problem. You can do that on, on Amazon. The pro and, and that's fine, and, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. But the problem when you publish uh, on Amazon or through any of the self-publishing uh, mechanism is there's no vetting process. Nobody really has said, hey, this is a book that is worth my time to read. And that's the reason why traditional book publishers are still important. Because quite frankly, they only publish a very, very small percentage of, uh, of the manuscripts that are submitted to them. Now, I've done everything. I've done uh, traditional book publishers. I started off in McGraw-Hill. They did uh, my first five. My last book, this one, uh, which you may be familiar with, The One Week Marketing Plan, was done uh, with a, a smaller book publisher uh, called Ben Bella. Uh, great job uh, with me. I've actually done some, some self-publishing, which, uh, which was okay. But in terms of credibility, you really are better off in terms of getting uh, your book published by a mainstream uh, actual, actual publisher. Now, yeah, I mean, there's, there's ego stuff, which is fun in the sense of it's really cool to go into the Barnes & Noble in New York City and you see your book there and you pull it down. And I actually used to do that. I actually used to sign it, put it back up on the shelf. And I take the book down and I put it up so it was, you know, more prominent. I mean, that's kind of fun stuff. It's, you know, it's great for the ego. Does it move the dial in terms of the business? Eh, not that, not that much. But using this book uh, and then putting a real strong publicity effort behind it, that does move the dial. That does get people uh, uh, interested in you who otherwise might not. The classic case, and uh, for those of you who've been following me for a while, you know I'm big fans of Steve and Bill Harrison and uh, the, uh, the, the company that they uh, have started that helps uh, authors uh, promote their book. And back in the day, uh, with Unique Sales Stories, I was talking with them about uh, you know, how do we publicize this, and we hooked it uh, up to uh, telling stories around Super Bowl advertising. And we did this big publicity, uh, got interviewed on everything from you know, WABC to ESPN Radio. Well, long story short, a guy heard about, heard my interview, uh, who was in Australia, 
and uh, went and bought the book, really loved the book, and wound up being just a, like a huge client for, for a number of years. Now, sure, yeah, you got to connect a lot of dots in order for that to happen, but none of that would have taken place if I hadn't written the book and if we hadn't publicized it. So now getting a book published by uh, a mainstream publisher does require usually that you have an agent representation, that you have a, a book proposal in place. You know, it, it requires a lot of work, but hey, look, in the marketing game, 99% of the people aren't going to do the work. They're going to say, yeah, it'd be great if it landed in my lap, but I'm not willing to do the work. And that's the reason why there's so many people who aspire to be really, really great. And there's only a small percentage who actually get, you know, really up that cliff. So I would say to you that books are great. Now, if you just do a self-published book, wonderful from a lead magnet standpoint. But if you really want to break out of the pack, you really want to establish a brand, you really want to be one of those, you know, highly sought after experts, then you really ought to be thinking about mainstream publishing. Now, as I say, I've done eight of these books. I've had two uh, big, uh, big bestsellers. I've had a few that have, you know, died on the vine and everything in between. So uh, I've been doing this for a long time. If you're seriously thinking about doing a book, I'd love to talk with you. Happy to share uh, insights and ideas that might be helpful to you. There's a button at the bottom of, uh, of the blog page that uh, you can click on to, uh, to facilitate that. So, hope you found this helpful, hope it gave you some uh, good thought, uh, food for thought about whether a book makes sense uh, for you. And as always, I really appreciate you being a part of my community, and until that time that we do have a chance to talk personally, this is Mark Satterfield. Bye for now.